Building on his Thursday State of the Union speech, U.S. President Joe Biden's first volley in his re-election battle with former U.S. President Donald Trump is a new budget proposal. The U.S. President's new proposal includes a $7.3 trillion budget for fiscal year 2025. Biden's plan will increase taxes on the rich and companies to pay more for the services, including tax cuts for the middle class and price controls for the people. Our next report telling you more. Take a look. U.S. President Joe Biden on Monday unveiled a $7.3 trillion election year budget aimed at convincing skeptical Americans he can run the economy better than his Republican rival Donald Trump to help cut the deficit and pay for new programs. Biden wants to raise taxes by trillions on corporations and high earners. You know, I may not get it done, but if you give me a Congress, I will. No, I'm serious. Biden's budget for the 2025 fiscal year, which starts this October, includes raising the corporate income tax rate to 28 percent, forcing those with wealth of $100 million to pay at least 25 percent of their income in taxes and letting the government negotiate to bring more drug costs down. Look, this year Medicare is negotiating lower prices for some of the costliest drugs on the market that treat everything from heart disease to arthritis. That's in the law that we've already passed. Now it's time to go further and give Medicare the power to negotiate lower prices for even more drugs over the next decade. The budget, released days after Biden's fiery State of the Union speech, was quickly rejected by the Republican House of Representatives Speaker Mike Johnson, saying it reflected an insatiable appetite for reckless spending and a disregard for fiscal responsibility. Biden's campaign has struggled to shake voters' concerns about high prices in the U.S. economy's direction. According to a January Reuters Ipsos poll, 40 percent of Americans think Trump would handle the economy best compared with 31 percent who picked Biden and 28 percent who either didn't know or refused to answer. White House budgets are always something of a presidential wish list, but that is even more so in the current political climate. U.S. agencies are currently operating without a full year 2024 budget after hardline Republicans rejected an agreed upon spending level.